Yes, sir. Hey, so I found this neat looking board game yesterday. You wanna play? Yeah, sure. Cool, I'll go grab it. Clue? I used to play this game with my grandparents. It's pretty fun. I've never heard of it. How do you play? Well, the object of the game is to figure out who killed Mr. Body. So for example, you roll the dice, then move into a room. Then make an accusation like, I think it's Mr. Green in the study with the candlestick. Okay, so what do we do first? We each place our characters at the start. I'll be Miss Peacock. Why don't you be Colonel Mustard? Okay. Here you go. Let's just place them right there. Okay, what do we do with the extra ones? Um, I think we just place them in separate rooms. Okay. Okay, um, you go first. Okay. Oh, come on. Give me some good luck. Twelve. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I'm in the kitchen. Hello? Oh man, sorry, I'll be right there. What's wrong? Nothing. I forgot about dinner night with my parents. Gotta run. See ya. See ya. I've been looking for feathers for my hat. No. So you played the game, huh? Who are you? You mean I don't look familiar? Miss Peacock? From the game? But that's impossible. Yet here I am. Poor Professor Plum. He was such a nice man. What do you mean, was? She's going to get everybody, just like she said she would. Can we stop her? We have to beat her at her own game. It's your turn to roll. If you can roll an eight, we can block the doorway right here. Here goes nothing. Oh, no, an 11. It's hopeless. What are we going to do? There's nothing we can do. Everything wait, wait, to speak up. 8, 9, 10, 11. You're brilliant. Looks like it was Mr. Green's turn. Which means, now it's Mrs. White's turn. Whew. At least she's safe in there. It's your turn. Whew. I don't think it's gonna let me roll. Look, it says only the player that rolled can move their token. Oh no, I forgot about the secret passages to the other rooms. It's my turn, but what if I just don't do anything? The game will skip you. 
Here goes nothing. Look, it says I can get back in the game if I go to the original site of Hill House Manor with the board and with the person who rolled for me. Come on, let's go. What are you doing here? Philip, there's no time to explain. This is Miss Peacock from the game. We have to get her back to where Hill House Manor used to be so we can get her back into the game to stop Miss Scott from getting to Mr. Green. What? How do you do? Uh, let's just get out of here. Okay. Where don't Lee? Wait a minute. This will be Hill Elementary. Are you sure this is the right place? Yep. Hill House used to be right here. Come on. much time. What does the book say? It says to stand near the conservatory and let the original player roll for you. Philip. Okay. Alright, five. It wasn't enough! Oh. You have to stomp your foot three times. One. Two. Three. Scarlet, stop. It doesn't have to end like this. Think of the little greens I've got at home. Oh, yes, it does, Mr. Green. And I'm going to make sure that I'm the last one to collect on Mr. Bunny's inheritance. You have to make an accusation. Uh -huh. Hannah, it's your turn. I am Miss Scarlet in the lounge no. with the coal shovel. No! No! I mean, Mrs. Peacock, thank you so much. You saved the day. Don't thank me. Thank Hunter and Philip. Now let's get you two home. Live from Victory Church in Lakeland, Florida, it's the 22nd Annual Polk County Public Schools Video Awards Ceremony. Featuring the creativity of over 5,000 students in 83 schools. We're able to showcase our students' work because of generous donations from the Polk Education Foundation, Apple, Bomar Trophy Shop, Camcor, Smiley's Audiovisual, Aki, Panasonic, Vista Audio, Victory Church of Lakeland, Nathan's Men's Store, Jim's Formal Wear, Encore Broadcast Communications, Publix Supermarket Charities. And now, your host for this evening, Instructional Television Manager, Dr. David Yates. Hello and welcome again to our 22nd Video Awards Ceremony. Let's give, please, a round of applause to our actors from the opening video, Ms. Joanne Hartley. The Evil One, Shelley Fountain, Craig Barber, and the students who helped them, and to Justin and Michael and the rest of the crew. And you see on the stage in front of me here, 
the 2014 high school and middle school television production Students of the Year. And now if we can get these fine young people to join their schools, and we will ask the first three presenters to come over here to the chairs, and we'll get our stage back going here. Let me ask how many of you are brand new to video awards? Put your hands up. We're gonna do this like class. Welcome. How many of you are veterans? You've been here before. All right. If you've been here before, I want you to lean over to somebody next to you who's here for the first time and to tell them they are at an event like none they've ever been to when it comes to our district. And now it is my pleasure to welcome to the stage for her first video award ceremony, our superintendent, Mrs. Catherine Leroy. And in the nick of time, ladies and gentlemen, our escorts for this evening, the wonderful JROTC Cadet Corps from Lake Gibson High School. Thank you, cadets. Does it matter which one? It doesn't matter. Good evening. How are you? Are you ready for an exciting evening? I'd like to welcome you. On um, behalf of myself, the superintendent, and the board to the 22nd annual Polk County Public Schools Video Award Ceremony. Um, this year, we have over 523 entries from numerous schools representing over 5,000 ITV students. This event showcases technology-infused, project-based learning at its best, creating opportunities for groups of students to gather information and think criti critically. ITV teaches students life skills like collaboration and teamwork, digital and information literacy, writing, critical thinking, problem solving, and creativity. The judges of, of this evening that have judged these um, entries come from other school districts from across the United States, college and university film and journalism programs, and media professionals. And finally, what I'd really like to do is thank our committed teachers and students for the time commitment, commitment to this worthy endeavor. As an example, I asked one of our schools how much time commitment was made this past year in their different categories that they are going to be presenting in tonight. They said that their short film um, video took over 150 to 200 hours of work time and had a cast and crew of over 20 members. Their anchors spend up to um, 50 to 75 hours in planning, filming, and editing. And their music videos were a collaboration with their band, as well as 80 to 100 students, and involved over 100 hours or more put into this endeavor. One of our teachers stated, and I think this says it the best, the video awards continue to be one of the greatest motivators for students to jump into the world of media productions and learn to think develop, create, lead, and discover the meaning of excellence. Thank you, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy your evening. Thank you very much, Mrs. Leroy. And now I'd like to also call up onto our stage to assist in the presentation. From District 3, Ms. Hazel Sellers. From District 5, Ms. Kay Fields. From District 6, Ms. Deborah Wright. And from District 7, Mr. Tim Harris. And our final presenter is the Assistant Superintendent for Information Systems and Technology, Mr. Abdu Tajuri. If I can have a little more light, if you're an administrator here tonight, guidance counselor, dean, principal, assistant principal, kindly put your hands up. On behalf of our students, I want to thank you for having the vision to realize the power of the visual media in our schools. If you're a teacher, kindly put your hands up. All right, students. 
Thank you, teachers. We're honoring you tonight for your commitment to excellence and your remarkable dedication. How about our moms and dads? Let's see your hands. Yes. Thank you for trusting us with your children and for providing them with a nurturing home. And finally, the most important guest of honor this evening, if you're a student in our program, stand up. Yes. Good job. Thank you so much for your hard work, your commitment also to excellence, and the uh, a remarkable amount of time that it takes to produce good work. If you've been here before, then you know you, we are going to see unbelievable videos on these screens. And it is such an honor to show your work to judges across America, including schools and TV stations and colleges and universities that continue to marvel at the work Mrs. Leroy, that this district produces. So we are in for one exciting evening. And 10 years ago tonight, I had the privilege of announcing that the high school documentary winner was a George Jenkins high school senior by the name, yeah, all right, GJ. A young man by the name of Jason Bent. If you, if you know Jason at all, all you have to do is hear his voice. You don't even need to see him, and you know Jason is in the room. Well, Jason went on from his great days at GJ to a journalism degree from the University of Missouri, one of the most prestigious journalism programs in America. He worked at two stations before settling close to home. He is now the morning show producer at WFLA Channel 8 in Tampa. And ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor to present to you as our guest speaker tonight, Mr. Jason Bent. Thank you. Good evening. How excited are you? <laughs> it certainly feels like it. You felt the excitement as everyone was coming in the room. Nervous? I certainly was nervous and excited when I was sitting in your place 10 years ago. The opportunity, this is a very special night for all of you. This is a very special program. And it's not just a special program here tonight, but the TV programs in each of your schools is remarkable. For a public school system, this television program is one of the very best in the country. It gives you opportunities and resources unlike anywhere else to do whatever you want and send you off into a career if you want to do that, like myself. I was always interested in the news side, doing the uh, daily newscast. And now I'm a uh, local news producer at Tampa, and previously in Baltimore and Kansas City. One of my best friends growing up, and still to this day, loved editing. He now shoots and edits commercials that you all watch at home, working for Bright House Networks in Tampa. Another former classmate loved film. She spent the last two years producing a documentary focused on the founder of Publix, George Jenkins. You all might have gone to see it. It played at the Polk Theater last month called Mr. George. Another former classmate loved computers. He now has his own business. Some of you all might have, parents, you might have uh, worked with him to fix your computer. This program allows you to go out and do whatever you want. It gives you great opportunities. It gave me a great opportunity. Thank you to Mr. Yates. Thank you to all the teachers for the dedication that you put in and the amazing work that you all produce, all that you students uh, put together each year. It is truly remarkable. And it's an honor for all of you to be here tonight. So congratulations. Thank you, Jason. And he was kind enough to offer to teach some of our fall and summer workshops so teachers were going to be able to take advantage of his experience at Jenkins, his 
uh, wonderful four years at the University of, Miz of uh, Missouri, the um, journalism school, and then his work in the TV field. So, Jason, thank you very much. We look forward to your coming back here and helping us out. Um, well, we're going to move on to some of our awards now, and we're actually going to start with a special award that one of our schools won. It is in public affairs, and I have the honor of presenting to you the uh, board members from the Polk County League of Women Voters, Ms. Shannon Allen, and Ms. Shannon Allen and her staff, they're coming up to announce who won their contest vote among our schools, and they also have a presentation to make to that school. So when you hear your school's name called out, kindly come down to the front so these people can recognize you. Hi, my name is Sue Schultz. I'm the president of the League of Women Voters, and this is our first annual vote video award. Are we going to show the, the video? We are after you announce oh, who it is. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the League of Women Voters is a nonpartisan political organization that encourages the informed and active participation of citizens in, in government, works to increase understanding of major public policy issues, and influences public policy through education and advocacy. And that is what we did with this contest. We, put, we decided, we got a grant from the National and we decided to do a contest among all school students in Polk County and see if somebody could come up with a very interesting video that told people why it's important to register and why it's important to vote at all levels from president on down to your school board members because we do elect them and it is important as to who is on that school board. So now we would like to present the winner of our first annual video awards, which is Winter Haven High School, Tessa Ross. Okay. They'll be coming up now. Only 58.5% of people ages 18 to 24 voted in 2012 according to the U.S. Census Bureau. That means that only a little more than half of the people qualified to vote actually did. If you are a U.S. citizen and at least 18 by November 4th, you are eligible to register to vote. You can be 16 or 17 to pre-register, but you cannot vote until you're 18. You must register 30 days before an election so you can vote. With all this talk of voting, you might ask, why should we bother to vote at all? Does my vote actually mean anything? Yes, 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 yes. Many call voting a sacred right, and it's one of the most important parts of our political system. A part that goes back to our earliest days as a nation. It is our duty to keep up with what's going on politically. We should stand firm in our beliefs. And not be afraid to speak up. Why wouldn't you want to be a part of the chance to make a change? Your vote can make a difference. The 15th Amendment states that the right of citizens of the United States to vote should not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of race, color, or previous conditions of servitude. If you want change, your first duty is to vote. 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 All right, congratulations. Winter Haven High School, Mrs. Schultz, have you given Tessa and the group? And I believe there's actually some money involved in this too, right? That's okay. She got an award of $300. $300, so thank you very much. So I'll be going to dinner with the Winter Haven team after the show, okay? Congratulations, Winter Haven, on a great video promoting an important cause. Now on the big screens, we are going to recognize our many state and national champions. This is truly a testament to the words that Jason Bent explained to you about how our program is nationally recognized. So gentlemen, here we go. Spessard Holland, Jim Harbin Awards. Look at Jewett Middle Academy, the highest new show score in the state of Florida. Lawton Childs, first place in music video for the state of Florida. 
Lake Gibson Middle. Look at, look at all those awards. Drama, public service announcement, news feature. Look at Stanbaugh Middle documentary, first place. George Jenkins Sr., public service. There's Winter Haven, the highest score received in the state of Florida for a music video. And the National Insurance Commission winner. So congratulations to all of those schools who represent our district well in state and national competitions. And now if I can get Mr. Berriman to come up, he will tell you who had our most improved middle school program for 2014. Drum roll, maestro. All right, Mr. Berriman. The most improved middle academy is Blake Academy. All right, congratulations, Blake. Thank you, they should be coming down. All right, Blake. And now if I can get Miss Sellers, Miss Hazel Sellers to come up, she will tell you who had our most improved high school program. Maestro, Miss Sellers. Our most improved high school is Fort Meade Senior. All right, congratulations, Fort Meade. And they will be coming up. And... We have. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, do we have the newest member of the Fort Meade ITV program that we can show these folks? Here we go. Mrs. Green has a new addition to her family. And he is on the right, and that's Henry. And how old is Henry? Uh, two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks old, yes. See, that's what our ITV teachers do, right? They have children, and they're right back at it with their kids. Congratulations, Fort Meade, on our most improved middle school program. Yes. And now Mr. Robertson is going to present the award for our program cover. I am not going to hold up the front of it, because each year we have a contest among all of our schools. They get to design the cover. Mr. Robertson came up, I'd like to say that I came up with it, but he came up with that brilliant idea several years ago. And now, Maestro, we want this student to come down and receive a large poster version of your magnificent cover. Michael. Congratulations to Haines City, Delana Wilkinson. Haines City High School. All right, Delana Wilkinson. Yes. I don't know if you all have seen it. I have these, by the way, when you leave, okay? Yeah. Yeah, just amazing. Yeah. <laughs> all right, congratulations. Delena, who's making her way from our balcony, of course, is a different zip code. All right, while Delena's coming down, let me tell you that we now move on to our categories. We go in countdown order from category 10 down to one, and each category is introduced by some of our ITV students from around the district. So gentlemen, let's roll the category intro video for category 10 and get Mr. Bobby Kuzma to the stage to assist in the presentation of awards. Well, well, I guess you need a clue. A clue to what, you say? Well, here is your first clue. Say a person says, I'm the king of the world, or E.T. phone home. Or how about, I'll catch you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. Or how about, lights, camera, action. Those lines are part of the top 101 greatest movie quotes. So do you have your answer yet? But it's all about movies. And that is your clue that it's almost time for category 10, where schools present their best short films. Okay, category 10 is short film. Our middle school presenters are Aurora Walker of Stambaugh Middle and Madison Ballard of Southwest Middle. And while they're getting, do we have the earphones for the people sitting in front of some? Yeah. Um, while they're getting their medallions from the school board and the superintendent, let's meet the nominees for best middle school short film. 
Category 10, Short Film, Middle School Level. The nominees are Crystal Lake, The Stench, Blake Academy, Ghost Show, Jewett Middle Academy, Cupid's Fine Love, Denison, Ideas, Boone, Secret Agency, Lakeland Highlands, Dysfunctional, Lake Gibson, Friends Forever, Southwest, Valentine Nightmare, Kathleen, Fortune and Glory, Mulberry, School Day of the Dead, Lawton Child's Middle Academy, Starducks. Drumroll Maestro, all right, Aurora and Madison, our first category winner, Best Middle School Short Film. And the winner is? Jewett Middle Academy. TV crew, actors and actresses, everyone else who helped, and thank you. <laughs> All right. Congratulations again, Jewett Middle Academy. All right. All right. Our high school presenters are Miss Mackenzie Shutera of Tenorock, senior and Sierra Francis of Mulberry Senior. And while they're getting their awards, let's meet the nominees for Best High School Short Film. Category 10, Short Film, High School Level. The nominees are Mulberry, Clockwork, Haines City, Maybe, Bartow, Prom Promise, Auburndale, Cover, Kathleen, The Case of Ms. Take. Lake Gibson, Out of Reach. Tenorock, Prom Wars. Winter Haven, The Anti-Social Media. George Jenkins, Guidance. Drumroll, maestro. All right, Sierra and Mackenzie, who had our best high school short film? And the winner is? Payne City High School. I was just an average 16 year old girl living the average teenage life. I had friends, family, a brother, and I was surrounded by people that loved me. But no one said life would be easy. Life is hard, and difficult decisions are made every day. Now, it may not be an easy choice by any means. It may be a very difficult choice, and the road I decide to take may be a tough one. You see, the only person you have control over is yourself. You cannot change other people. At the end of the day, it's the choices we make that will determine where our life will go. If only I would have said no. to that party tonight. What party? The one at Destiny's house. Destiny's having a party? Yes, Kristen's bringing so much alcohol, we're gonna get drunk. I don't know. You know I don't do that kind of stuff. You should start tonight, because Michael's gonna be there. Oh, he is. 
Yes, girl. Okay, well, maybe. I'll think about it, though. All right, well, just let me know. All right, I will. Bye. Bye. Hey, Delena, you going to that party tonight? I don't, I don't know. I mean, Savannah told me about it, but I mean, I just don't know. I just know that there's going to be a lot of alcohol, and I don't drink, and I don't know anybody. Just come. It'll be fun. We can catch up. Okay, but you'll hang out with me and stuff, right? Yes, of course. And I'll only have to take one drink. Well, we'll see. Are they mean? No, no. You'll be fine. All right. Seriously, we can just hang okay. out. Okay. Well, I'm excited now. Yeah, me too. See you tonight. All right, I'll see you then. Bye. Um, I first like to start off by thanking God because without him none of us would be here and we'd all like to thank our parents um, <laughs> and we'd like to thank our teacher um, Mr. Fraker and Miss Young <clears throat> and I want to thank my crew H and M we hear me! Thank you. Congratulations Hain City. On to the next category, we shall go. It's all about clues, you know. Two times two equals four. And the square root of four is two. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. So here's a few more. Math or science galore. History? Is it a mystery? No, it's simply another category. Academic promotional. All right, this is category nine. We use Category 9 to promote academics in our school, which is our main mission anyway, as a district as well as a program. Our presenters are Ms. Laura Northup of Mulberry Middle. Thank you. And Mr. Andre Hall of Lawton Childs Middle Academy. And now while Laura and Andre are getting their awards, let's meet the nominees for Best Middle School Academic Promo. Category 9. Academic Promo, Middle School Level. The nominees are Southwest, Book Club, Denison, Lost in Reading, Blake Academy, Write It Right, Jewett Middle Academy, Fablehaven, Stambaugh, Have a Conscience, Roosevelt Academy, Need Math? Kathleen, Get Out and Read, Lake Alfred Adair, Music Education, Mulberry, I.C.E., Lawton Childs Middle Academy, Little Red Running Shoes, Lake Gibson, Neal, Lakeland Highlands, Try Paws. Drumroll Maestro. All right, Laura and Andre, tell these folks who had our best middle school academic promo. And the winner is? Kathleen Middle. I love this part. Oh, hi. It's so easy to get into a good book especially with so many to choose from. I know I'm little, and that makes it hard for me to get around. But that doesn't mean I can't go places. 
books. With a little help with your imagination, can take you anywhere. You know I'm the bomb. That's why you said the alarm, right? Take it, take it, take it. What are you still doing here? Get out and read. <laughs> We're so dumbstruck, I don't even know what to say. I know. Um, first off, I want to thank Mr. Hero and Mr. Hero's family and his baby for letting us, you know, borrow him for the academic fellowship. <laughs> <laughs> and we definitely want to thank our families. We've spent a lot of time in video this year, and if it weren't for them, none of this would have been possible. And most of all, we want to thank God for, you know, giving us the opportunity to be able to do this. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Kathleen Middle. Thank you very much. Mr. Ben, is it still true in the TV field, put a cute kid on camera and you win your audiences, <laughs> you win your audiences over. All right, our high school presenters are Miss Rihanna Nagel of Lake Gibson High School and Miss Tessa Ross of Winter Haven. And while they're getting their medallions, let's meet the nominees for best High School Academic Promo. Category 9, Academic Promo, High School right Level. Now. The nominees are Fort Meade, Math, <laughs> Auburndale, AP Government Wants You, Winter Haven, Education's Goal, Bartow, Academies, George Jenkin, Stat Squatch, Tenor Rock, Spanish class. Lake Gibson, exercise your mind. Kathleen, reading Royale. Okay, we take a category or two every year that is extremely competitive, like the short film that I mentioned earlier, and we show you their videos and bring those schools down to the front for what we call our People's Choice Award. And if you have a mobile device, you're going to be able to choose the winning video for the People's Choice Award. So these young ladies are now going to tell you who the first nominee is. When you come down to the front, whatever school they read, come down and stand over here. Our second nominee will stand down here. Our third nominee will stand there. And then we'll start our voting system. And of course, we'll play their videos for you. All right, are we ready? Tessa, you're going to do the, the first shootout nominee for academic, or for academic promo for high school. Maestro? All right, Tessa. Tenorock Senior. All right, Tenorock. And while Tenorock is coming down, we'll play their academic promo. So I had a lot of fun last night. Yeah, me too. I mean, the movie was lame, but... Hola, Jessica. Hi, Javier. I mean, hola, Javier. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, ¿y tú? <clears throat> oh, Javier, this is my boyfriend, Derek. Derek, this is my friend, Javier. Hello. Pues, yo estaba haciendo la tarea ayer por la noche. What are they saying? I know what they're really up to. Oh, tú tienes flores. Sí, yo iba a dárselo a mi novia por la noche. ¿Tú, tú piensas que le gustaría? Yo creo que le encantarían. Bueno, necesito irme para ver a ella ahora, pero era un placer para verte. Oh, ok. Hey, buddy, I'm right here. Oh, bueno, era un placer para conocerte. Don't get hit on by a language barrier. Sign up for our Spanish class today. All right. <laughs> Some brave actors. Congratulations, Tenorock, our first shootout finalist for academic promo. All right, Rhiannon, who's our second finalist? Winter Haven Senior. Come on down, Winter Haven. Why do I even have to learn this? It's not like I'm going to use it in life.
You're standing 18 yards away from an 8 by 24 foot goal. There are two people on the wall 10 yards away from the ball. So using geometry to make a goal in the upper 90 degree corner, you must hit the ball to create it to spin over the defenders. The average ball weighs 14 ounces. Using physics, if the time it took to reach your head was 3.2 seconds, the power of your header would have to be 4.3 watts to make a goal. Anatomy is used when kicking the ball. You use your hamstrings, hip abductor, and glutes to control the hip while making contact with the ball. <gasps> Education isn't just for the classroom, it's used in our everyday life. All right, congratulations, Winter Haven. And you thought so kicking a soccer ball was a relatively easy thing to do. All right, Tessa, you're ready to tell us who our third and final shootout contestant school is. Drum roll. Kathleen Sr. There's never been a book I couldn't read. Explore a million different worlds in a story. Every single one, a new adventure. I'm turning pages like satire, romance, tragedy, and comedy. Research essays, speeches, and biographies everywhere. I'm living in the library. That's what makes me a reader. I get an information right. Every book I touch, I got a literary crush. Ain't no time to be social. Go and find a book you love, sit down and read. Everybody read. All right. Congratulations, Kathleen High, and everybody read. Reading Royale. All right, we're going to put the text message codes that you will use, and the voting is open to anybody in the house as well as the people who are watching live. And then you'll see those bars move, and we have a countdown timer in the corner. So you'll do 10 Spanish for Tenor Rock and Edgy Gold for Winter Haven and Royale for Kathleen, and let everybody vote. about this is uh, when we look on the map of where all the boats are coming from, because we tell them. Three, two, one. All right, congratulations, Kathleen High. They won our People's Choice, and Mr. Robertson has their award. And now Rhiannon and Tessa are going to tell you who are judges chose for this category? Drum roll, maestro. The winner is Kathleen High School. It's a sweep for Kathleen High. Congratulations, Tenor Rock and Winter Haven. But Kathleen, come on up to the podium and receive your award for having the best high school academic promo. How could you watch that video and not want to read? And my dear friends at Media Services, we need to make about a thousand copies of it. Yeah, and send it all over our schools. All right, Kathleen, congratulations. We are so very honored to win and accept this award. From recording the song to filming the video, the making of this category was an amazing experience. We couldn't have done this without the generosity of our librarian, Ms. Thorine, who let us overrun her library for a few days. Ms. Barton, who helped us create the idea for this video, the crew of Ignition TV, as well as our fantastic assistant directors, Tabitha Worley and Michael Boyette. And of course, our outstanding advisor, Mr. Gash. Thank you again. <laughs> I was minding my own business, working a case, and she walked in. Do you investigate cases? Well, I am already covered in clues, lady. Um, which clue should I pick? Stick to the facts, ma'am. 
I want to know more about the Statue of Liberty and how she was chosen to represent freedom. Like, did she model for it? All right, this is category eight. And because he won an Emmy for this category 10 years ago, I would like to invite Mr. Bent back up, please, to help assist in the awards presentation. Our middle school students of the year who will be presenting are Hannah Townley of Lakeland Highlands Middle and Janelle White of Lake Gibson Middle. And while they're receiving their medallions, let's meet the nominees for Best Middle School Documentary. Category 8, Documentary, Middle School Level. The nominees are Southwest, Life of a Firefighter, Lawton Child's Middle Academy, A Different Side of the World, Mulberry, A Journey with MPS, Lake Gibson, The Hope Center, Stambaugh, The Reality Factor, Denison, A Look at Teen Addiction, Jewett Middle Academy, Change for the Better. Who's going to say? All right, drum roll, maestro. Hannah and Janelle are now going to tell you one of our most prestigious winners, Best Middle School Documentary. And the winner is Lawton Child's Middle Academy. America, the place of freedom and new ideas. It's also a new start for anyone who ventures here. From California to New York Island, from sea to shining sea, America is filled with people of all nations. As the first country with a presidential democracy, we're known to always be trying something global and new. I can say I'm proud to be an American. From going to school and basic necessities, I'm always taken care of and looked after. From many theme parks and numerous national parks, there's never a dull moment in America. Unfortunately, the rest of the world is not as blessed as most Americans in the United States are. According to GlobalIssues.org, almost half of the world, which is over 3 billion people, live on less than $2.50 a day. In countries such as Kenya, poverty is off the charts, malnutrition and lack of food are a constant worry of East Africans. In America, some of our biggest worries might include not getting the newest iPhone, or why isn't our computer working as good as someone else's? Around the world, 26,000 children die every day from starvation. Most Americans don't worry about where their next meal is coming from or if they'll live to see another day. A large difference between our world and their world is the amount and quality of education. In my family, education has always been one of our top priorities. In Kenya, it is a privilege for young children to attend any school. Even if the walls have holes in them and no notebooks are provided to write down what they've learned, they're still thankful for every little thing. Thank you so much for this award. And first and foremost, I would just like to thank my parents and God for this opportunity of this amazing trip I took to Kenya. And it totally erased my awareness, and I hope it erased yours. And I would just like to shout out to Mr. Cochran for all the help he gave to me, and also Miss Amy Dobson for helping me construct my video when I needed it most. And I would just like to thank you so much again for this award. Thank you. Congratulations, Lawton Childs. Thank you, Mr. Cochran, for apparently bringing the entire school with you today. We appreciate that. Yes. <laughs> you know, Mrs. Leroy, I, I love this category. The documentary category, our students get outside themselves. They deal with issues that are more important than just what we're wearing and the movies that we saw. And it's so inspiring every year to see uh, the documentaries that our students produce. All right, our high school presenter is Mr. David Thompson of Kathleen High. 
And while David is getting his accolades, let's meet the nominees for Best High School Documentary. Category 8, Documentary, High School Level. The nominees are Bartow, Hearth Project. Kathleen, Differently Abled. Fort Meade, The Life of an All-Star Cheerleader. Haines City, What It Takes to Be a Student Athlete. George Jenkins, Jenkins Modern Family. Winter Haven, CPR Saves Lives. Tenor Rock, A Nation of Innovation. Ridge Community, JFK. Lake Gibson, Dream Chaser. Okay, Maestro, drum roll. All right, David, who had our best high school documentary? And the winner is... Winter Haven Senior High School. Not many people understand the severity of a cardiac arrest. It can happen to anyone, healthy or sick, short or tall. It's unpredictable. That's why many people don't even think about the possibilities of it happening. 40,000 lives could be saved each year if only everyone knew how to administer CPR. Think about it. Wouldn't you want to be the difference between life and death if you could? Because I know I would. It's been shown that cardiac arrest occurring outside of the hospital is a very lethal event. One young lady who fortunately had a cardiac arrest in the presence of a police officer who was highly trained and immediately administered CPR. I'm sure if that had happened at any other time, that person would not be alive and well today. What is cardiac arrest? Cardiac arrest. Is I'm one of those very few survivors because somebody who knew CPR was in the right place at the right time. Just imagine if you were healthy and enjoying life and then in the blink of an eye, everything suddenly stopped. I'm here today, still able to experience so many things like going on a bike ride with my family, watching my kids play, eating family dinners, things that don't seem like such a big deal until you almost lose them. Well, first off, I would like to thank Dr. Yates, the ITV program, and Polk County Public Schools for hosting this wonderful event. I'd also like to thank everyone who was involved in helping making this video the best it can be, in specific my partners Morgan and Tanya, because without their help, this video would have been impossible to make. I feel very grateful for winning this award because it really does show that hard work does pay off. To finish off, I'd like to thank our teacher, Mrs. Mizell, for all the help and support she gave us this whole year. Thank you. Once upon a time in a faraway land, there once lived a beautiful princess. And this princess was happy with everything a princess could ever want. But there was one evil princess who was jealous of the princess. She would do anything to stop the princess from being happy. Why, you ask? Because she loved to cause unhappiness. Enough, ladies. Stop fighting. Back to what I was saying. So, we have one happy princess and one unhappy princess. These are the clues you need to make up the rest of the story. Like the videos coming up in our next category called Creativity Games. Okay. 
If you go to Google and you type in 21st century skills, the skills that our current students are going to need to be successful, creativity is on everybody's list. So just as we promote academics, we now try to promote creativity as well. In the first week in February, I send out to schools a plot and they have exactly one week to make a five minute video. This year, the plot that went out was they had to have a student in the school who is trying to achieve the best at something, but a villain gets in the way. And that's all we told them. The rest is entirely up to them. Our presenters are Miss Victoria Gillis of Lake Alfred Adair Middle and Miss Lydia Kimbrough of Kathleen Middle. While Victoria and Lydia are getting their accolades, let's meet the nominees for Best Middle School's Creativity Video. Category 7, the Creativity Games, Middle School Level. The nominees are Davenport School of the Arts, The Video Game Menace, Fort Meade, Anchor Corruption, Jewett Middle Academy, The Locket, Rochelle School of the Arts, The Princess and the Pig, Mulberry, the tuba player. Lake Alfred Adair, pay style. Crystal Lake, game, set, match. Lakeland Highlands, the origin of the toothpick. Blake Academy, the EOC exam. Southwest, I just want to be female solo. Lawton Childs Middle Academy, dueling sides. Lake Gibson, pageant girl. Stambaugh, running on empty. All right, drum roll, maestro. Victoria, Lydia, let's tell them who had our best middle school creativity video. And the winner is Lawton Childs Middle School. Today we're going to be doing our class selection speech. Sorry, I'm late, everybody. So for those of you that will be giving your speech, make sure you read over your script so they can speak clearly when you get in front of the camera. Okay, the first one up, Andre, you'll be the first one to go back and give your speech. You ready? Yes. Three, two. I'm Andre, and I'm running for your next student council president. Look for my posters around and vote Andre when it comes time to vote for president. How's your campaign going? It's going good, but you know, there's always the stressful things. Oh my gosh. All of my campaign things were in this locker. I'm starting to get another headache. What's he gonna do? Why would anybody do that to him? I gotta go talk to Miss Jones. Hey, Mrs. Jones, you wanted to see me? Yeah, sure did. Come on in, Andre. Have you seen some of my posters? I think I've been doing a really good job. I have, but I haven't seen your application. Well, I remember going to turn them in, or at least doing them. I haven't gotten it. You're gonna have to do it. I don't understand why this keeps happening. I'll figure it out. Oh no. for far too long. And today, only one of us will leave. We would like, we would like to say thank you to God, first of all, and then to all of our families for supporting us, and of course, Mr. Cochran, and a shout out to all of our friends here at, all of our friends here at LCMA and the crew here. And we would also like to thank all of the teachers that helped us produce this video. 
Thank you. All right, congratulations, Lawton Childs, for dueling sides. And now we are going to move on to high school creativity games. And our presenter is Mr. Dustin King of Haines City High School. While Dustin is getting his medallion, let's meet the nominees for best high school creativity games. Category seven, the creativity games, high school level. The nominees are Haines City, The Villain Inside Me, Auburndale, Forever Changed, Lake Region, Hot Dog Stacking Contest, George Jenkins, Audition, Bartow, Thumbs Up, Lake Gibson, GNN, The Legend Begins, Fort Meade, The Best Girlfriend, Tenorock, Misconceptions, Kathleen, Bittersweet, Mulberry, A Hero's Tale, Winter Haven, Road to Harvard. All right, drum roll maestro. Dustin, who had our best high school creativity games? And the winner is Kathleen Sr. And that's me and my baby brother. And every year, we bake a cake for Dad's birthday. Mom puts on her apron. I get to pick the flavor. And my brother, he lights the candles. It's tradition. This year, things may be a little different. We lost a key ingredient. It's bittersweet. Still, we need a cake. first got the prom this year, we knew we had to act quickly. It was a stressful week, but we, it was all fun. And once it was all turned in, we knew we submitted something special. We would like to thank the Ignition TV crew, Haley, David, and Caleb, along with our parents for the constant provided support. Along with Mr. and Mrs. Thacker, Mary Blue, Julie Minto, and our main stars, Crystal Tackett and Matt Blue. And we can't forget our advisor, Mr. Gash. Thank, thank you. you. Me and my 
my shadow, my shadow and me. We stick together as close as can be. Excuse me, Mrs. Peacock, I was trying to fluff the pillows. <sighs> Sorry. Anyways, what were you singing? Oh, it's a song I used to sing all the time when I was little. It's about sticking together with my shadow. Kind of like me and you. We stick together in reporting and anchoring. So, are you saying you're like my shadow? Yes, we make pictures and videos, and wherever we go, we are always together. A team. We are team announcers. We're not the only team. Announcing teams from all around Polk County have joined us here tonight. So here are the nominees in the announcing team category. Okay, as they explained, we are now to our three anchor and reporter categories. We start with category six, which is anchor teams. We do these categories a little bit differently, and I'd like to invite up onto the stage, please, uh, Nathan Smiley of Smiley's Audiovisual. They're our sponsors for the trophies that these young people will be receiving, and all the media specialists in the room especially, but also many of the ITV people, know that the Smiley's have served our district with great distinction for many years now. And Kathy and Nathan, thank you so much for what you do for our schools. All right, so here we go with category six. When you hear your name called out, please come down to the area below the stage here. We will recognize you and then announce who our best anchor team is. Our presenters for middle school anchor team are Marcos Cartagena of Jewett School of the Arts and Jackson Trotty of Jewett Middle Academy. And now while Jackson is getting his accolades from the superintendent and the board, again, when you hear your name, anchor teams come down to the front, please. Let's meet the nominees for best middle school anchor and reporter teams. Category six, announcing team, middle school level. The nominees are Southwest, Bailey Williams and Addison Johnson, Lakeland Highlands, Taylor Jackson and Sarah Kilby. Lawton Childs Middle Academy, Lila Saxena and Lindsey Kim, Mulberry, Lizzie Kelly and Alex Burbick, Fort Meade, Josh Lyle and Chris Haas, Davenport School of the Arts, Haley Hackworth and Haley Bagdonis, Lake Gibson, Cassidy Lewis and Morgan Brown, Jewett Middle Academy, Natalie Brown and Nathan Whitney. Okay, let's give these uh, middle school anchor teams chance to make it all the way here. Okay, looks like they're all here. Ladies and gentlemen, we call this the exercise part of our show because what we're going to do is we're going to stand up and tell the entire world that we here in Polk County are proud of the best middle school anchor teams in the USA. And now drum roll, maestro. All right, Jackson, who is our top middle school anchor team? Come on up to the stage. And the winner is Nathan Whitney and Natalie Brown. <laughs> Nathan and Natalie are from Jewett Middle Academy. And we will now play a clip of their anchor skills. Great sound. It's the sound of giving. Pasta for Pennies has raised over $221 million over the past 16 years. Did you give? Because the class who raises the most money gets a lunch provided by Olive Garden, which includes spaghetti, salad, and breadsticks. Today we are celebrating a job well done with Pasta for Pennies. Students were eager to turn in as much as they could. Why do we do this? I think after hearing Ms. Springer's story, you'll understand why we participated and why she is so passionate about the organization. Ms. Finger decided to include her students for one week in Pasta for Pennies. They were so moved by her story, they wanted to help. The final total was $1,665.98. It was an overwhelming response by the students. It really did touch Ms. Springer's heart. Now it's time to what chow down. What are you reading? What? I'm not feeding nothing, Nathaniel. Not feeding, reading. I'm not reading, I'm looking at the yearbook. Oh, look at me when I was in sixth grade. 
Where are you? Were you around at this time? Nah, I'm two years younger than you. Oh, you baby. Remember how we used to buy and order these things? Oh yeah, online. It only costs $40 on the Jude Academy website. You can buy an ad also. That's the deal of the century. Yeah. Thank you so much. I would like to thank Mr. Robertson, Ms. Fountain, and our parents. They worked so hard. I'd also like to thank my partner, Natalie. She's helped me all the way through. Thank you so thank much. You <laughs> It is our tradition to have these three categories, six, five, and four, judged by television sta station anchors and reporters. This year, we used KKTV in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and WCAV-TV in Charlottesville, Virginia. And both of those schools have something in common. They have Polk County Public Schools graduates who, like Mr. Bent, are working at television stations. So congratulations to Jewett Middle Academy me on winning that prestigious honor. And now to present for high school anchor team, same routine, we have Miss Mallory Jordan of George Jenkins Sr. Please come across and while Mallory is getting her award from the superintendent, let's meet the nominees for best high school anchor team. Category six, announcing team, high school level. The nominees are Fort Meade, Jaron Barfield and Jasmine Grissett, George Jenkins, Rebecca Castor and Ashton Winters, Bartow, Timmy Delph and Stason Bowl, Haines City, Dustin King and Grace Patterson, Lake Gibson, Rhiannon Nagel and Montana Young, Winter Haven, Trey Bean and Tessa Ross, Tenorock, Ari Spivey, and Savannah Walker, Mulberry, Stephen Purvis and Tyler White, Auburndale, Joelle Atchison and Kelsey Wagoner, Kathleen, Austin Grantham, and David Thompson. All right, let's give these uh, anchor teams a chance to get down here. All right, I think I see our final team coming from the uh, balcony. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, members of the school board and Madam Superintendent, please help me honor the finest high school anchors and reporters in the USA. <laughs> Drum roll, maestro. Okay, Mallory who had our best high school anchor team. And the winner is Winter Haven Senior. Trey <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Mallory. Okay, oops. Yeah, keep yours and... Society of the United States is the nation's largest animal protection organization. Since 1954, the HSUS has been fighting for the protection of animals through advocacy, education, and hands-on programs. And the shocking number of animal cruelty cases that are reported daily are just the tip of the iceberg. Most animal cruelty cases are never even reported, and most animal suffering goes unrecognized. But fortunately, tons of cases are reported. The Humane Society cares and rescues for tens of thousands of animals every year, but their primary mission is to stop the cruelty before it occurs. And thanks to this organization, many animals have been saved and are still being saved to this day. And Tessa, I want to be part of this organization. Then it's time to volunteer, Trey. I'm Tessa. And I'm Trey with BDTV. Here in Polk County, we are lucky enough to have our own shelter. The Humane Society of Polk County is a nonprofit organization funded solely by public donations. And Tess and I are so pleased to announce that the Humane Society of Polk County has just purchased their newest property located on Dundee Road. With their new location, they also need new volunteers. This is true. Volunteering is not only a great thing to do for their benefit, but it can also help you with community service hours for school. They have in shelter volunteering like dog watching, kennel cleaning, adoption desk support, animal socialization, and adoption follow up calls. Trey, what's your favorite animal? Well, Tessa, I love puppies. Do you want to know why? They are cute, 
They're adorable, they play with me all the time, and they love me when you don't. That's true. Well, you should adopt one. I should. Adopting is another great way to help these animals. At the Humane Society, each animal will be observed and evaluated before going up for adoption. They view euthanasia with mixed emotions. The animals must be killed is a difficult burden to bear, but diseased, frightened, or even injured animals trying to survive in a hostile community are infinitely worse. Now more than ever, they need the help and support of animal lovers like yourselves to help them build a new safe haven for the animals in our community. Together, we can achieve even more than 2014. Please join them in celebrating animals and confronting cruelty by making a special donation online today at Humane Society. We would like to thank Polk County Schools, ITV, and Dr. Yates for putting this all together, and also our principal, Mrs. Williams, for always supporting us. We would also like to thank Ms. Mizell, otherwise known as Mizelltron, for supporting us the entire way. We love you, Ms. Mizell. Also, thanks to the whole BT BDTV family. We love you. We couldn't have done this without your help and support. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be here. We did it! Clues, clues, clues. I've been thinking all day about clues. Do you have any clues? I feel like I'm clueless. Do you understand what I mean? How can I explain it so that you understand? If only I were articulate. If only I could speak clearly. If only I were more enthusiastic, more versatile, and had more personality. Wait a minute. These are all clues to great announcers. Like these female announcers. All right, it's the ladies' chance. Our presenter is Mr. Chris Hess of Fort Meade Middle School. And while Chris is getting his award, let's meet the nominees for Best Female Middle School Announcer and Reporter. Category 5, Female Announcer, Middle School Level. The nominees are Stambaugh, Savannah Vice, Fort Meade, Megan Johnson, Lawton Childs Middle Academy, Katie Atchinger, Lake Gibson, Evie Bodiford, Rochelle School of the Arts, Kirsten Jackson, Kathleen, Lydia Kembro, Jewett Middle Academy, Natalie Brown, Lakeland Highlands, Hannah Townley, Southwest, Alicia Suko, Mulberry, Tori Hughes, Okay, let's give our ladies, who are maybe challenged to run in high heels. <laughs> okay, I think I see one more. Madam Superintendent, members of the board, ladies and gentlemen, the finest high school Female announcers in the USA, and I'm sorry, middle school, <laughs> yeah, in the USA, please help me congratulate them. <laughs> Drum roll, maestro. All right, Chris, who's our top lady reporter and announcer? And the winner is? Lake Gibson Middle, Evie Bonaford. <laughs> okay, and they have. I got Spirit. How about you? Hey, Sharks. It's Spirit Week expert Evie. I absolutely love Spirit Week. It's a time where I can show off my craziness and creativity. Instead of me just talking about it, let me show you grass skirts, flowery tops, lays. Oh, and saying aloha and surfs up to all your friends. This is Hawaiian Beach Day. Dress and act like you're in Hawaii. Aloha and surfs up, dudes. Rock and roll day. Accessories, accessories, accessories. Bracelets, teasing your hair, scarves. Anything you can do to show off your rock and roll spirit. Dun dun dun! dun. Comic Con day. Get ready to dress up like anybody from a comic book. Spock, the Hulk, Superman, Superwoman. Batman, Batwoman, anybody. But please, leave your laser guns at home. We don't want to start any trouble. But anyway, let's get back to the fun. Get off my lawn, you rotten kids. 
old people today. Get ready to nag and yell at any kid that walks by. Anybody have any prunes? Oh, and I'm gonna get you. Thank you so much for this award. I would like to thank Mrs. Satterberg for all the help she has given me, not only with Solo Female, but also anchoring with my amazing partner, Taylor. I would also like to thank all my friends and family for all the moral support they gave me and for not wanting to strangle me when I got a little stressed. I also want to thank them for driving me everywhere I needed to go and film. Last but certainly not least, I would like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. for everything he has done for me. Thank you again for this amazing opportunity and award, and God bless. And congratulations, Evie Bodiford. <laughs> and now it's time for the high school ladies. Our presenter is Travis Hudson of Gauze Academy. And while Travis is getting his medallion, let's meet the nominees for best high school Lady, reporter, and announcer. Category 5, female announcer, high school level. The nominees are Lake Gibson, Tierra Thomas, Kathleen, Chelsea Paddock, Haines City, Lindsay Keene, Fort Meade, Mari Wright, Bartow, Katie LaRose, Lakeland, Krista Rhodes, Winter Haven, Keegan Snively, George Jenkins, Mallory Jordan, Mulberry, Sierra Francis, Auburndale, Casey Guffey, Tenorock, Mackenzie Shatera. All right, let's see. Oh, here it comes. And from the far corners of this magnificent facility, we have three ladies and... <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you the very best lady announcers at the high school level in the whole of our country. And now to tell you who this most prestigious honor goes to, Travis Hudson of Gauze, drum roll maestro. Okay, Travis. The, win the winner is George Jenkins. George Jenkins. All right, Mallory. Thank you. You know the time. No, not tax season, but if you just got your tax refund, come back, I miss you. It's not field day, it's not spring break. Just, just stop guessing, stop guessing. It's prom, it's prom people, prom time. It's at Epcot Disney this year. The happiest place on earth. And you know who'll be happy? Me! Well, I'll be doctor. <laughs> Why do you say? What did I tell you about guessing? Wait, that's supposed to be a single joke. Do you even have to ask if I have a date? I have a date. Or I will. Just to let you know, I bought my prom dress, so if you, any of you ask me, I'll be ready. Don't be shy. I'll wait. Working out is one of the many ways we can relieve stress. Being a teen, we do have a few things to stress over. Working towards good grades, getting into the school of our choice, and for some of us, maintaining employment. Health is critical during our teen years. The health habits that we form now can carry into our adult life. I'm Mallory Jordan, and today is December 13th, 2013. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, glory be to God for everything he has done for me. That is just a blessing right there. <laughs> but I just want to thank the wonderful support from ENN that I've had over the past four years that I just wouldn't have gotten from anyone else and my parents, and that my dad couldn't be here, he's always here with me, and my mom, and all my friends who have just 
push me to do the best I can. So I just want to thank you for this award. What does Professor Plum do when looking for the best male solo announcer? First of all, voice inflection. It sounds like this. <coughs> la 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 la. Second, eye contact. Looking directly into the camera. Do not be afraid of the camera. It is your friend. Third, clarity. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. And last but not least, a sense of humor. Knock, knock. Who's there? Lettuce. Lettuce who? Why, let us see this year's nominees for Best Male Solo Announcer. <laughs> All right, it's the guys' turn. Our presenters for middle school are Jaden Hughes of Davenport School of the Arts and Zachary Schley of Westwood Middle. And while Zachary and Jaden are getting their awards, let's meet the nominees for Best Middle School Male Announcer. Category four, male announcer, middle school level. The nominees are Fort Meade, Chris Haas, Southwest, Zach Talent, Davenport School of the Arts, Jorge Texador, Jewett Middle Academy, Cooper Clack, Lawton Childs Middle Academy, Andre Hall, Mulberry, Ryder Skipper, Lakeland Highlands, Joshua Bowen, Lake Gibson, Josh Varney, Stambaugh, Clay Bennett. All right, let's get the guys down here. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you the best middle school announcers in the USA. Drum roll, maestro. All right, Jaden and Zach, who, had, who is our best middle school male announcer? And the winner is Lawton Charles Middle Academy. Great sights and great strawberry shortcake. Good morning, Knights. Today, we're taking the show outside of the studio and broadcasting from the annual Strawberry Festival in Plant City. Welcome back, Knights. Each spring, the Florida Strawberry Festival welcomes visitors from throughout all the state of Florida to enjoy exhibits of commerce, agriculture, livestock, fine arts, and crafts. Here at the Strawberry Festival, there is never a dull moment. You can do some fun things like ride rides, try some delicious food, and my favorite, try some strawberry shortcake. You can also join some of the competitions like the most popular one, the strawberry shortcake eating competition. This is when contestants are given 10 minutes to consume four pounds of strawberry shortcake. If this sounds like a competition for you, then you'll have to wait a few years because contestants have to be 18 years or older. Recently, one of our classmates took home a top prize at the Florida State Fair. Taylor is standing by to introduce you to our shining Thank you to God first and foremost for allowing all of us to be here. And thank you for my parents for always supporting me. Thank you to Mr. Cochran for nominating me first and foremost and allowing me to be here and accept this award. And thank you to all my friends in the KTV program, CHN now, at um, LCMA and supporting me. Thank you. Congratulations, Andre Hall of Lawton Childs Middle. And now we move on to high school, and our presenter is Caitlin Roman of Frostproof High School. And while Caitlin is receiving her medallion, let's meet the nominees for Best High School Male Announcer. Category 4, Male Announcer, High School Level. The nominees are Tenorock, Ari Spivey, Kathleen, Caleb Wilkerson, Barto, Timmy Delph, Lake Gibson, Grant Bell, Auburndale, Forrest Antimasaris, Mulberry, Frankie Azua, 
Fort Meade, Matthew Skinner, George Jenkins, Oscar Richard, Winter Haven, Bryce Van Schuur, Haines City, Dustin King. That's right, I see him. I know I can see Dustin running down here now, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, members of the board, Madam Superintendent, ladies and gentlemen, the best high school male announcers in the USA. <laughs> Drum roll, maestro. All right, Caitlin, who wins this wonderful honor? And the winner is Lake Gibson Senior. Grant walking or running routes. There's an app for that, RunKeeper. How about something that listens and tells you what track of music that's playing nearby? There's an app for that, Shazam. Yep, there's pretty much an app for just about anything. But is there something that can keep me informed with the latest around Lake Gibson? There's definitely an app for that, and it is here for you. My time. That's right, Braves, you heard me right. A free app for our school, available for both iPhone and Android. This app gives you all the information you need to know. For instance, LG merchandise, team schedules, school announcements, and so much more. All you have to do is go to your App Store or Play Store, search for My Time Schools, and upload it to your phone. Once you have the app, search for Lake Gibson High School and you are automatically in. You have no idea how honored and humbled I am to accept this award. I've been waiting for this ever since the seventh grade. And now that it has finally happened, I am speechless. <laughs> Above all, I'd like to thank God for my talents and my family for being so supportive and providing me transportation for filming. Second, I would like to thank all of my TV teachers, Ms. Connie Rodriguez, Ms. Wendy Sutterberg, and Ms. Laura McNabb, for teaching me what I love to do and giving me the push I need every time. And finally, I would love to thank the ITV staff for making this possible as well. And I can't forget the GNN crew and Ms. Dawson for their help as well. Unfortunately, this is my last video awards, and I cannot think of a better way to end it. My dream has come true. Thank you again for this honor. Me and my shadow, my shadow and me. Got a clue what's coming up next? It is the music videos. Yes, we have finally arrived at what for many is the most popular of all the categories. And because this category, music video, involves so much creativity, I would like to invite Miss Kate Kemker. Did I see here is Kate? Yes. Up onto the stage, Kate works for Apple. They are one of our corporate sponsors. There is no technology company in the world that has a greater identity with creativity and with innovation. Um, we use their products in our schools and you see the results. So she will assist in the presentation of awards. Our middle school presenters are John Paul Martinez of Crystal Lake Middle and Brian Bullinger of Rochelle School of the Arts. So while Brian and John Paul are getting their accolades, let's meet the nominees for Best Middle School Music Video. Category 3, Music Video, Middle School Level. The nominees are Jewett Middle Academy, True Love, Lawton Childs Middle Academy, Why, Lake Gibson, Florida, Stambaugh, Drug Free, Boone, 
looking backwards. Mulberry, might as well be me. Lakeland Highlands, Crazy Sisters. All right, Maestro, drum roll, John Paul, Brian, who had our best middle school music video? And the winner is... Boone Middle, looking backwards. A dream for you and a, a dream for me to leave behind These old lies, they keep tearing us apart So my eyes can be looking backwards It's not right, it's not fair It won't get me anywhere to be here. Second, I'd like to thank Ms. Raw for making our TV even possible, and Mr. Robinson. Uh, at the same time, I'd like to thank my teacher, Mr. Sawyer, for his quite, uh, amazing voice and making it possible to be here, too. Thank you. Uh, these are wonderful, wonderful kids. I, I really am glad that you trust us with them every year, and we just have a great time, and this is what the new jobs of the future are all about. All right, con congratulations, Boone Middle. Now we move on to high school music video. Thank you very much. I know you'd love to stay up here. We'd love to have you, but... <laughs> I will give you $10,000 for your hair, please. All right, best high school music video. Our presenter, Aaliyah Moore of Fort Meade Senior. And while Aaliyah's getting her accolades, let's meet the nominees for Best High School Music Video. Category 3, Music Video, High School Level. The nominees are Kathleen, Have You Seen Me? Haines City, Calling All the Monsters. Bartow, I Be Madness. Tenorock, Turn It Up. Winter Haven, App by App. Auburndale, Hold On. George Jenkins, What Pulls Us Apart. Mulberry, Panther Pride. Lake Region, Epic Rap Battle of TV TV. Lake Gibson, Your Story. All right, this, as you can imagine, is among our most competitive categories every year. So we're going to show you our top three. And, Leah, you're going to tell them who our first finalist is, and we'll play your video, your music video. Come down to the front. Okay, drum roll, maestro. The first nominee shootout is Kathleen Senior.
Congratulations, Kathleen High. And you know what? We're going to step over here because all these tall Kathleen students are not going to enable them to see your lovely face. Who was our, our second of three music video shootout finalists? And the second school shout out goes to Winter Haven Senior. Come on down, Winter Haven.
right. Congratulations, Winter Haven High School, our second shootout for music video. And are we ready to tell these folks who our third finalist is? Last but not least, the third shootout goes to Tenorock Senior. Arena. Here. Ari. 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 Oh, here. Leah. Here. Rodney, as you all we call. We discussed yesterday the social. The social. The little, social. Little. political, economic, and constitutional ramifications of the compromise of to get out those mobile devices because we're going to be voting now on our people's choice for best high school music video. And we'll show you the texting codes. There we go. Turn it up for Tenorock, at by app for Winter Haven, and scene me for Kathleen. Let's vote. Whoa.
five, four, three, two, one. All right, Tenorock. This is one of our few categories that are judged across the nation only by other students. Almost 1,000 students across America saw these videos, and now Alia is going to tell you who they chose as the best high school music video of 2014. Drum roll, maestro. The real winner is... Center Rock. <laughs> They're just, just a little happy. There you go. I don't know who you can. <laughs> here he. <laughs> Tenor Rock, come on up here. Come on up here. here you go for the people. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Good job. Whoa. <laughs> Did we win? We won. <laughs> um, Ms. Renz, I'd like to say I'm sorry because you told me to write down a speech and I ain't, I ain't write it down. <laughs> So, um, first of all, I would like to thank Jesus Christ. Without him, I wouldn't be any, I would be none. Secondly, I would like to thank my Tenorot family. I love y'all. Secondly, I would like to thank this beautiful lady right here, Karina Rodriguez. She was the one that was singing. I would like to thank Tiffany Chantha Rawson. That's a, that's a mouthful, but she cool. She contributed to a lot of this a lot of everything that you saw in the music video. I would like to thank Alondra Montalongo. She did a lot of camera work on it. I, like, I would like to thank everybody who participated in making the music video, and we thank you. This is like, this is my first time winning, y'all, and I'm a senior, so I'm done. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, congratulations. Thank you very much. Well, this is an exciting <coughs> evening. <coughs> I'm enjoying myself, aren't you? <coughs> We've seen some terrific talent in videos tonight. <coughs> I can't wait to see the next category. <coughs> what is your problem? We have all of these wonderful people here no. tonight. You won't take a break. You mean, like a commercial break? Let's take a look at the best commercials of tonight. All right, it's commercial time, category two. Our presenter for the middle school level is Mr. Gyro Santander of Boone Middle School. And while he's receiving his awards from the superintendent, let's meet the nominees for best middle school commercial. Category 2, Commercial, Middle School Level. The nominees are Mulberry, Cyberbullying, Lawton Childs Middle Academy, Friend Requests, Jewett Middle Academy, Recycle, Rochelle School of the Arts, On the Move, Lakeland Highlands, Be Positive, Lake Gibson, It's Not Complicated, Drumroll, maestro. Okay, Jaro, tell them who had our best middle school commercial. And the winner is Jewett Middle Academy. because if it wasn't for any of them, we wouldn't know what to do at all. 
So thank you. <laughs> All right, congratulations, Jewett Middle Academy. And now we move on to high school commercial. Our presenter is Colin Fleming of Bartow High. And somewhere over here, there's Colin. While Colin is getting his medallion, let's meet the nominees for best high school commercial. Category two, commercial, high school level. The nominees are Bartow, hallway quarterback, Tenorock. TSA, Kathleen, it all starts here. Fort Meade, Candy Grams, Auburndale, Cold Epidemic, Lake Region, MCJ ROTC Commercial, Lake Gibson, Bravery is what defines us, Winter Haven, I Live, all right, drum roll maestro. Colin, who had our best high school commercial? And the winner is... Kathleen Seniors. <laughs> the Desk. Each one holds a story. Stories of students whose minds have made breakthroughs or whose voices resonate across our airwaves. Whose hands have built our homes and shaped the art of our world. Who've created both music and masterpieces who teach and inspire, write and imagine, who save lives and lift us to new heights. What will your story be? It all starts here. Thank you, and uh, we as Ignition TV are truly honored to receive this award for Best Commercial. We would like to acknowledge the dedication and perseverance of the Ignition TV crew in the production of the commercial. We'd also like to thank Apple for inspiring the foundation behind our commercial. And we can't forget the, open, uh, the ongoing support that we received from the Kathleen administration. We're very overwhelmed to be on this great stage tonight, and we cannot express how grateful we are thanks to ITV. And a big thanks to our advisor, Mr. Gash, and once again, we'd like to thank you for this award. Scarlet, do you know what time it is? It's Big Daddy time. And you know what that means, Colonel Mustard. It's where the rubber meets the road. Getting that horse to the water. Time to quit spitting in the wind. You all have heard clues all evening long about every category. And what it takes to be the best. So quit sitting on the edge of your seat. Sit up straight. And let's get down to the basics. With the best daily news shows. Of this Polk County video contest. Yeah. To be honest, the music video is probably a more popular category, but this is the most important of our categories. It was the first category because when our department was established in the 1989-90 school year, the mission that we received from the superintendent and the board at that time was to create a program so that every school in the district could have a daily news show. News shows were seen as the most effective way to communicate as opposed to the thousand-year-old intercom system. So this is the granddaddy of them all, and when you hear your name called out, we would like the TV production teacher and the ITV uh, student of the year from that school to please come down in the area at the bottom of the stage. Our presenter for middle school is Miss Haley Walls of Blake Middle Academy. And while Haley is receiving her award, Let's meet the nominees for 
Outstanding or higher daily middle school news show. Category one, daily news show, middle school level. The nominees are Southwest, Stambaugh, Jewett Middle Academy, Lake Alfred Adair, Davenport School of the Arts, Fort Meade, Lake Gibson, Mulberry, Lawton Childs Middle Academy. All right, let's get these schools here. Michael, what trophies are these? These are the middle school Oh, I see one more <laughs> teacher coming down. Ladies and gentlemen, and here comes the SOY, the student of the year. It is my honor to present to you the best middle school news shows in the USA. Congratulations. <laughs> Our judges award three levels of recognition. If they award the three new shows submitted for competition an average score of 70 to 79, those schools are designated as outstanding. If they award a school an average of 80 to 89, those schools even move up another notch. So we're now going to tell you about the schools who receive that higher recognition, which is really quite an accomplishment when you consider the very elaborate rubric that we use to evaluate new shows. Our first presenter is Mr. Tim Harris. He will tell you who the first excellent middle school new show is and we'd like for that school's ITV teacher and the student of the year to come up please and receive your award. Drum roll maestro. All right, Tim. And this year from Auburndale, Stambaugh Middle School. And now Miss Fields. Kay Fields will tell you our second excellent middle school new show. Drum roll maestro. And the winner is Lawton Childs Middle Academy. Come up, Lawton Childs. All right, our third excellent middle school news show, Miss Hazel Sellers will announce. Hazel? This middle school is Mulberry Middle. Congratulations, Mulberry. And number four, Deborah Wright, school board member. Where? Oh, okay, so Abdu, do you have Debra's? All right. Oh, I'm so, yes, where's Haley? Haley's, where'd she go? Okay, Haley, Haley Walls of Blake Middle Academy will tell you our next school. Ready, Haley? Blake Gibson Middle. Blake Gibson. Thank you, you can hand that to them. All right, now Abdu Tajuri will present school number five. Abdu will come up for school number five, please. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yes, he's asking me if she'd pronounce this in Arabic or in English. So you hear it okay and the winning is Davenport School of the Art okay Davenport and our sixth excellent school Mr. Berryman will announce all right Mr. Berryman Jewett Middle Academy all right Jewett Ladies and gentlemen, please help me salute. Schools have reached an even higher level of accomplishment, these schools with excellent daily middle school news shows. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, 
And now we move on to the high school news shows. Thank you very much. Our presenter for high school news shows is Mr. Forrest Entomaceris of Auburndale High School. While Forrest is receiving his medallion, let's meet the nominees and again come down to the front. Our outstanding or higher high school news shows. Category 1, Daily News Show, High School Level. The nominees are Auburndale, Winter Haven, Tenor Rock, George Jenkins, Bartow, Kathleen, Lake Gibson, Mulberry, All right, let's get these high schools down here. These are all scored 70 or higher in their new show evaluations. All right, I see Jenkins is here. Mr. Baker has his dapper hat on and their female anchor. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you the outstanding daily high school news shows from across the USA. Congratulations. All right. And now we're going to tell you those schools that achieved an even higher level. These high schools were rated outstanding, or excuse me, Excellent by the judges, a score of 80 to 89. And again, very difficult to do with our rubric. So, Ms. Kay Fields, would you kindly tell these folks who excellent high school number one is? And the winner is Bartow Senior High School. Bartow, come on up. And now Abdu will tell us school number two. Drum roll, maestro, Abdu. And the winner is Winter Haven High School. Come on up, Winter Haven. And Forrest, my Auburndale genius, here you are, Forrest. How about high school number three? And the winner is Auburndale Senior. <laughs> Congratulations. Number four, Miss Sellers, our fourth excellent school. Our fourth excellent school is George Jenkins Sr. All right, GJ. And who do you have for this one? Okay. All right, Miss Fields has double duty tonight. She's going to tell you our fifth and final excellent high school news show. And the winner is Kathleen High School. <laughs> So you have no outstanding high school trophies? Yes. You did. Your notes were on. <laughs> okay, our outstanding schools are also getting their trophies. So ladies and gentlemen, help me salute once again these remarkable high school news shows. And now our two most prestigious honors, best in show. We add up all the points every school receives all night, and we're going to reveal them starting with school number five. It is quite an honor to be on this upcoming screen at all. Our presenter is the superintendent of the Polk County Schools. So gentlemen, maestro, here we go with best in show for middle school. Shout out to Southwest Middle. How about Mulberry, Lake Gibson, Lawton Childs, and are we ready, Mrs. Leroy? Yes, we are, and the best in show is Jewett Middle Academy. Come on down, Jewett. Jewett, come on down. <laughs> I know you're in shock, but come on down anyway. <laughs> Here's their certificate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're 
you're not going to talk, but you get your award. Okay. All right. Congratulations to Jewett Middle Academy. You saw the list. To come out first among that group of schools is an unbelievable honor. And congratulations. I believe it's the first time that Jewett has won. And I must tell you, as a proud papa, a hundred years, no, not a hundred, 30 years ago, I had this young lady as an English student at Lake Gibson High School. So congratulations. Congratulations, Jewett Middle Academy, our best in show winner for middle school. All right, now we're gonna do the high school kids. We're gonna do the same process again. Gentlemen, who are our top five high schools for 2000? 14 and what a race. Ready, shout out George Jenkins. How about Tenorock, Lake Gibson, Kathleen. All right, Mrs. Leroy, who's our top high school for 2014? And the best in show is Winter Haven Senior. Look how close, look how close between Winter Haven and Kathleen. Two points. All right. Okay, while our superintendent is presenting Winter Haven with its remarkable win, Mrs. Mizell, where is Mrs. Mizell? She's over here. Is this seven? Ladies and gentlemen, to compete among the high schools in this county is one thing. You saw the work the whole night of Jenkins and Lake Gibson and Auburndale Kathleen High School. This is the seventh consecutive year that Winter Haven High School is our best in show. I, I'm, I'm just in awe. I'm in awe, Mrs. Mizell. Thank you very much. We were only able to show you clips tonight because of our time constraints. So I urge you to watch the replays that will be on cable and on uh, PGTV and the school board website, the programs our teachers get when they leave the arena, and they have all those replay times. The work is truly remarkable. You will love it. As you leave, just before you leave, I have one more recognition I'd like to make. I've stood upon this stage now for 22 years recognizing thousands of students and teachers. And if you'll permit me a moment, ladies and gentlemen, tonight I'd like to recognize three of my own. For 16 years now, ITV staff member John Diddle and ITV staff member Justin Phillips have toiled behind the scenes to not only serve our schools all year long, but to bring off this unbelievable show. And although he's the young whippersnapper in the group, Kyle Condon, who is a Mulberry High graduate, has been with us eight years. All of them did internships at 16, and they've been with us ever since. There's no way, Mrs. Leroy and members of the board, that we could have a program like this without these great young people. Please help me salute. Justin, come on out here. Goodness knows what you'll see on the screens. This is Justin Phillips. And the tall, dark, and handsome dude is Kyle Condon. Sorry, ladies, he's recently married, so. And my right-hand man, John Diddle. They are all, they are all graduates of our schools and our ITV program from elementary through high school. And gentlemen, I salute you. God bless. And now that's right, they've just got to run to the back so they can finish the show. 
Thank you again, members of the board, for honoring these young people tonight, and Mrs. Leroy. And thank you to all of you who came. We'll hopefully see you at the 23rd ceremony. Thank you to the Smileys, to Aki uh, Projectors, to Apple Computers, to all of our senior directors and various other important people in our district who are here tonight to cheer you on. And please travel safely. God bless. Maestro. Thank you.